What's up guys, welcome to another video. Just touching base with everybody. I figure I'd take you along. Trip to the flea market. Uh, we're at the flea market in Joppa, Maryland. Uh, a place that, uh, God, I'd say about half my collections probably come out of here over the years. But I think I've, I've shown this to you guys maybe once before. I kind of ran through the flea market. Got my phone in my hand, so the video is gonna be choppy. Uh, I do apologize for that. Hopefully you guys don't get sick and throw up. But let's talk about uh, Hancock's video for a minute. That Hancock video he uploaded today. It's, uh, yeah, the guy's moving in the right direction. He's taken uh, a lot of criticism that he's got from the community and changed a few things with his channel. Um, not a ton of affiliate links, you know, not seeing uh, plugs for uh, PayPal, Patreon. So, you know, that's what's up, you know, for that guy, you know, tweaking those, those little things. You know, we notice, we notice here in the community. So keep up the good work, John Hancock. You know, hopefully you keep moving forward in the right direction and hopefully you'll be a beacon of light to some of these other YouTubers. So not only do I get all my video games here, I get all my hygiene products here, all my cleaning stuff here, you know, paper towel, toilet paper, all that stuff comes out of the flea market, guys. I Call me a sucker for saving money, but when you come to places like this, you're not going to a big store that has all that overhead, you know, the rent, the utilities, the advertisement, you're not paying for any of that. So guys, I encourage you to shop at your local farmer's market, local flea market. Uh, you get the random stuff in here, Cinderella dress, uh, <laughs> knickknacks, uh, there's a pretty cool vape store in here, I get all my vape stuff out of here, all my juices. Now a bottle of vape juice from like, um, you know, you go in a store, it could cost you 20 usually $30, $40 most of the time for a decent sized bottle. Um, you know, that same $30 or $40 bottle, name brand stuff like Charlie Noble and some of the good vape juice, get here, 10 bucks, you know, 10 bucks, you can't beat that. Tanks for my vape, five bucks, a tank lasts me two weeks, so. You know, vaping so cheap here at the uh, Joppa Flea Market, you can't afford not to vape. But we are approaching the uh, the video game store now. Um, there's a DVD store kind of right next to it. Um, man, there's some great stuff here, guys. If you're into anime series, uh, there's still a couple anime series that I need to find. They're going to come in here one day. Um, one of them is Gunsmith Cast, and the other one's uh, LA Machine Guns or LA Guns. Miami Guns, that's what it is, Miami Guns. See you guys, this is just random footage I took with my phone. Just, you know, like I said, ran through the store. But I am getting an awesome game today. You know, one I've been, you know, on the hunt for for many years. Uh, never seen it at a convention. I saw it at a convention, actually, last convention I went to. I think that was, uh, God, it was like too many games, I think. And it was like, it, was an, it wasn't super expensive, but I got it cheaper here. But, um, you know, sorry about the shitty camera angles again. I just kind of ran through here with my phone in my hand. But, um... God, I've gotten so many good, look, the PSP games down there. I've gotten like all my good PSP RPGs, you know, came out of this place. But anyway, here's the game I got border down. Now, this is a game, it was developed by some ex Taito employees. So I think it was some of the people that worked on Metal Black and also some of the people that worked on the G Darius series. I read a couple of reviews online. I think it was G Darius and maybe a couple of Darius games in the series, but they worked on this game. And when you play Border Down, you can actually tell by the way the enemies kind of enter the screen. You can tell, um, if, if you're familiar with shooters, you can see a lot of the same uh, tactics by similar development teams. But, um, yeah, it's just really getting nerdy right there. But anyway, Spine Car, you know, Spine Car. This is actually, there's two versions of Border Down. This is considered the, the limited or collector's edition, I guess limited edition. Um, it actually has a OST or a soundtrack, which is great for me. Um, you know, being a YouTuber, a small YouTuber, I like ripping these OSTs to my computer, to my Windows Media Player, and actually using them in my YouTube videos. So, um, you know, expect it. It depends on how good this OST is, but if it's good, expect to hear it in some of my YouTube videos. But man, this game is in, what are they, it's in great condition, uh, minty condition, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to have to go get some of those sleeves to put this thing in. I'll probably run back in there and grab about 10 of those sleeves. But yeah, border down, you know, great shooter. Um, I played it through a burn that I've had for years, and I'm so glad that I finally found this. Again, guys, sorry about the super shitty video quality. I'll try to take some detailed videos about some of the game stores in my area and the flea market because I, I don't know. I feel like you guys would be interested in that kind of thing. So let me know in the comments, you know, if you want me to do that kind of video. Um, I'd be more than happy to walk through the stores and, you know, talk to the employees and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Anyways, guys, love what's going on with the community right now. Hopefully we keep moving forward here in 2020. Until next time or next stream, guys, peace out.